cycle and prep for the Arnold. Um, I'm here at the edge at Tyson's Corner. Dumbbells. Hallelujah. Coach Haas, say hello. Hi. <laughs> Mary, say hi. Hey! <laughs> nice forward lean going. Yes. Farmer carry is done. I did a circus dumbbell and now Gary is helping me measure very precisely my 120 feet for a sandbag. And it's deep! Hi! And there's Hans! <laughs> All the friends, strong friends are here. Let's see what Barry's got for me. Very, very precise, very technical measurement. I want to get this right. There's 100 feet of that? rubber. That's 100 feet? Great. So then 20 is like 80 95 88 go come on Get set, go. Twenty seconds in. Two, one, zero, go. just finished up with all my event training and uh, as you can see this gym also has a really extensive machine and free weight section so you know I'm about to get my pump on look what they have
It's one of the greatest row variations there is because it's so impossible to use your legs uh, or shrug or use momentum to pull the weight. You really have to use your rhomboids and lower drops. Um, so it's amazing from building the mid-back. totally done with training for today. I got all of my events in and I had some time to kill. So I did a little extra hypertrophy. I did some arms and abs pulling and pushing. Um, I don't usually do much bodybuilding after I finish my events. I'm usually too wiped out, but I've been really rested. I'm really fueled. So I figured I have the energy um, and it's, you know, it's a gorgeous big gym and I wanted to play with some of the toys, so I did. Um, I'll probably be back here to deadlift on Tuesday. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how today went. I experimented a little bit with split jerking the dumbbell for the first time, which I really liked. And while I typically wouldn't advise someone change their fundamental technique, for a movement like that only a few months out from a contest. It felt really good and I like split jerking better than push jerking. I'm better at it, it's more efficient. Um, so we'll see, I'll try it on the Bartos dumbbell when I get to Todd's next week and we'll see if it carries over. Um, it felt very balanced, it felt very powerful. Uh, Coach Brian gave me some good tips. Um, he just noticed that I was staying fairly loose in my lower body so he just cued me to clench my butt cheeks really hard on my dip uh, and it made my drive way more efficient and that's something that I know I've been lax on uh, so it was a helpful reminder that I really needed so that's one of the things I love about coming to good strongman gyms is you just have a lot of a wealth of knowledge here with a bunch of experienced coaches and competitors and training around people like that is always going to improve your game it was also great because Barry and his friend Mike helped me do stones they fielded for me and timed me um, and doing stuff like that by yourself is just, uh, it adds a, le a level of difficulty to your training that's not really beneficial, it's just tedious. So it's really great to have a team environment to help you with something like that. Um, everything was low volume relatively, as uh, this is my lighter week back in the cycle. So uh, only two runs at Farmer, only two runs at Husafel, only three sets of stones, um, only three sets of dumbbell. Um, so, Everything was challenging, but felt powerful and efficient. So I had a really good training day, and uh, I'm ready to go eat. Also, Merry Christmas.